welcome back to the channel. I'm stoked to be bringing you this what I eat in a week video. You're gonna see lots of healthy, high protein, gluten-free, and totally vegan meals that I ate during the week, plus some of my workouts from a 90-day program I'm working through, and we're even gonna head to Costco together and get some healthy groceries. I'll also be chatting about some of my exciting goals for 2024, so make sure you stick around. Ta-da! Breakfast. Hello, welcome to this morning's very healthy, high protein oatmeal. If you guys have been watching any of my what I eat in a days, you guys already know I'm a huge, huge fan of oatmeal for breakfast. Now, adding lentils to our oatmeal is definitely a new thing. This is like one of the first times I've tried it and I'm still kind of getting used to it. I'm not sure what I think yet. I mean, you can kind of taste the lentils a little bit. I mean, it's it's pretty good still, but I mean, if you're not a huge fan of lentils, I don't know, maybe this isn't for you, but if you like the taste of lentils, you should definitely try it. I used half and half, half oats, half lentils, so I think it's maybe a little bit overboard. I maybe will do three cups oats next time and one cup's lentil just to see if it's a little bit more palatable but overall it's still good i got lots of fresh fruit in here the blueberries and the apples and the cinnamon still make it taste quite nice but i don't know i'm just kind of like trying to find newer whole food ways to add more protein to my meals without always using a protein powder so nothing against protein powders i love protein powder but it's just nice to kind of incorporate more whole foods into our diet especially now that brad and i are doing a lot more working out, trying to lose a few pounds, get slim, and build more muscle. So, anywho, I'm gonna go enjoy this, and I will see you guys later on in our video, and I'll show you some of my workout. Kill me. <laughs> so this is a post-workout sour lime smoothie that I tried for the first time. I have heard about adding silken tofu to your smoothies to make it even more high protein, and I'm definitely trying to get more protein in my diet. So I'm giving it a try here. I'm making a pretty basic green smoothie with lots of kale and protein powder. Then I added, I think this was half a block of silken tofu plus some frozen pineapple, which is one of my favorite smoothie ingredients because I just love any smoothies that are kind of sour and tropical tasting. Then I added the zest of two lime limes plus both the the flesh of the limes plus some more kale and then yeah i just blended it up as you do with a smoothie duh and that was it there's my smoothie this was enough for both brad and i and it was good very sour maybe a little too sour but it was good <laughs> Ooh, makes you pucker if you like sour this is gonna be your smoothie mm. You cannot tell there is tofu in here. Seriously, that is delicious. Ah, lunch time. It's kind of a late lunch. We got a bit of a late start to the day, but this is hopefully gonna be very good. I think it's pretty balanced, if you ask me. We've got some quinoa, we've got those Brussels sprouts that smell so smoky, mm, and a sweet potato. So we've got some complex carbs from the quinoa and the sweet potato. And then for protein, we've got some of that crispy baked tofu and a little bit of healthy fat. Use some avocado, or you can use like a salad dressing if you want. I'm just trying to kind of get into the habit and the mindset of when we're now going into the new year and I'm kind of building meals for Brad and I, I'm gonna try and focus a lot on like component bowls or component meals. It's something I've kind of been doing some research into. And I, I think it's just so easy to be able to throw these kinds of bowls together by meal prepping a bunch of different components at the start of your week and then just kind of like build your bowls throughout the week depending on what you're feeling. And so I think that this is a good start and I think there's gonna be room for improvement and creativity, but let's just see how everything tastes. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Brussels sprouts are yes. Yep. Now, this little sweet potato that I baked or air fried, I feel like I feel like I kind of want to like eat it with my hands and I kind of want to turn it into like a kind of like a toast type situation. So I'm going to spread some hummus on it just for a little boost of protein and flavor. And I'm just going to, I don't know, see what this does. Mmm. Mmm. So you may have seen me um, make this curry before on the channel. It is in my soup, stews, and curry video right up here. And it is, mm, it is so good. And it's so, so easy. Brad and I probably make it like probably once every week, 10 days or so. It's just so yummy. It's kind of like a variation on my butter chickpeas recipe. Anyway. After I'm eating tonight, it's leftovers because I made a massive, massive pot of this like two nights ago. And so practically all of our dinners for the last three days have been this, which I'm not mad about. And I made coconut rice as well in my Instant Pot. So uh, I'm gonna go eat this. It's pretty late. It's like almost 8 p.m. And uh, I don't know why all of our meals have just been like super late today. And this is what it is. I'm gonna eat that spoonful eventually. <laughs> I'm gonna finish my smoothie from this afternoon that I never got around to finishing because I was too full. Ah. Mm. Mm. So this is Tuesday morning's breakfast and it is leftover lentil oatmeal that I had made the day before. And I just wanted it to be a little more fruity so I made some of this apple blueberry sauce that I actually did recently show the recipe for in my recent high protein breakfasts video and it is really good. So if you are looking for ways to kind of fruit up your oatmeals, definitely check out that recipe on my YouTube homepage. It is really good. <laughs> this one is called Hell's Chair. And you balance on one foot down in a chair. 30 seconds each side. It is literal hell. <laughs> this one's called Kablam. And to make it more fun, you can say Kablam! 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 Sumo kicks! Ugh. My most Heated lower body exercise. Okay, I'm gonna be making my go-to post-workout smoothie. A little bit different than the lime-ish green smoothie I made yesterday. So I'm gonna start by just adding water to the jug of my blender. I usually use plant milks, but lately they've just been so flippin' expensive and honestly they don't really add much to your smoothie. And this smoothie is gonna be high protein enough anyway without it, so I'm just gonna use water. Next, we're gonna add some spinach. Just a couple handfuls-ish. I'll probably add more later. I'm gonna just press it down. Celery. Oh no, celery down! Broccoli. Oranges, carrots, ginger, cucumber, lime, some avocado, and a banana. A few scoops of protein powder. It's a little full, a little full. I'm just gonna blend it a little bit now because it gets a bit full when I am making a smoothie for two. Black seed, a couple tablespoons. Gotta get those omegas. Frozen blueberries and strawberries for the antioxidants. And now we blend. Mmm, <laughs> brown smoothie. Brown is beautiful too, okay? <laughs> Whoa! It's 
Billy pants. Oh, my arms are shaking. <laughs> oh, there we go. Mmm, delicious brown, but also green smoothie. Mmm. Mmm. Still tastes really good. Still very fruity. Uh. Mmm. <laughs> so. As you guys can hopefully see, I have been working very hard on my fitness and my workouts. Brad and I started at the beginning of January this 90 day, pretty intense workout regimen called P90X3. You may have heard of it, it's kind of old, but it focuses mostly on core strength, endurance, stamina. It's a full body workout. They're like 30 minutes to an hour and they are really, really challenging me. Not so much Brad, cause he's, pretty fit, but I am just really excited, honestly, to be doing this workout program because, you know, I have a lot of fitness and health goals. I want to lose a few pounds. I really want to improve my strength and my, my cardio. So I am hoping that I see some really good results at the end of it. And I hope you guys stick around to, you know, see where I'm at in 90 days. So make sure you subscribe below because this workout program is definitely like informing a lot of my food choices and how I've been cooking. I've been really focusing on like healthy and really high protein meals because I really want to build muscle. That's like one of my main goals right now. So that is, there's gonna be so much more to come when it comes to healthy eating. So make sure you guys stick around and I will see you guys a little bit later for lunch. So we're just heading out to do a grocery shop and it's been over a week. So uh, our house is getting empty and I'll show you what we buy when I get home. I'll show you a little bit. And uh, if you're wondering where I'm going, I'm heading to Costco and you might be wondering, well, what can you get at Costco if you're a gluten-free vegan who's also trying to eat healthier and more high protein? A lot. That's actually where I do most of my shopping. There's so much vegan friendly, gluten friendly uh, groceries there. So yeah, if you are plant based, you should definitely try shopping more at Costco. You can save a lot of money that way too. And then for everything else, you know, like soy milk, tofu, spices, other small grocery items, I shop at Real Canadian Superstore. And so if you want to see more of what I actually buy, you can definitely check out some of my grocery hauls right up here. And um, yeah, there's a lot for you to see there. And of course, today I will show you a few things of what I end up buying at Costco and the Superstore. Approaching Costco Wholesale. Please tell me in a comment below, people, what is your strategy for securing a parking spot? Do you, do you stalk people? Do you wait in an aisle? Just hope that someone pulls out? Do you just drive around the parking lot for 30 minutes and hope for the best? Can there even be a strategy? I don't know. <gasps> yes! Oh, look at that, two spots. Hey lady, move your shopping cart. Time to brave the cold and also the storm within Costco and get this done. Minus nine degrees, very cold. Yum, I've actually never tried um, Moong Dal, which is crazy, but today's the day. I go through this stuff like it's out of style. Like it's going out of style. I can't even like, word, word. I've got some cauliflower, got so many veggies for all of the different recipes I'll be making this week. Broccoli, I'm running out of room. Ooh, we've got lots of frozen stuff, frozen blueberries. 
frozen strawberries. Those we will use mostly in our smoothies, but I also like to cook up frozen berries for uh, like a quick fruit sauce for my morning oatmeal. Trying out some new coffee from Starbs. Never had their French roast, so fancy. Very excited. Good deal. Only deals. Ooh, and I got one of my favorite Costco items. Tofu! I have mentioned these in some of my previous grocery hauls that you can check out right up here. I love this tofu. It says it's extra firm, but I tell you, it's more like a medium firm. But I like it because it's really nice and soft and I love using it for tofu scramble. Okay, I'm gonna just put away the rest of all of these groceries and then I will show you guys what I'm gonna make for lunch later today. Oh, hello there. <laughs> so, it's lunchtime, hallelujah. I have got myself a big bowl of this Thai inspired noodle soup and I've actually been making this soup for years I would say and I'm actually going to be featuring it in a recipe video at some point in the near future on the channel. I just want to make sure that it's like perfect so I'm kind of like taking the time now to like make all the tweaks necessary for it to be a really delicious filling and nutritious recipe video before I share it with you guys so there's a lot that goes into <laughs> prepping for recipes on this channel, in case you didn't know. Anyway, it's super delicious. It's got high protein brown rice noodles, it's got tofu, it's got a delicious uh, red curry coconut milk broth, it's got a whole bunch of veggies and it's so good. Ooh, and my oven is beeping, which tells me my bread recipe that I'm recipe testing is finished, woohoo! Maybe I'll show you guys a sneak peek of that later. And yeah, this is really delicious. I can't wait to eat it and I'm like so hungry. Oh, and one other thing. I got these really cool lentil buns, kind of similar to the bread I have baking. They're made from red lentils and they're actually really good. Still working on it, but I hope to have these buns on the channel, maybe in the next couple months. Hmm. So make sure you guys are subscribed below so that you don't miss this upcoming noodle soup video, my lentil bread and my lentil bun recipe coming to the channel very soon. I have to just say it, dates and peanut butter are one of my absolute favorite snacks. Dates are like nature's candy, you guys. They're so naturally sweet. And then pairing it with creamy peanut butter is like just so <laughs> flippin' delicious and satisfying. Yo. And it's actually a pretty like filling snack. Eating three dates and a few tablespoons of peanut butter, well, at least with the PB2 I'm using, which is reduced fat, this only comes to be about like 250-ish calories, which is pretty good. This dinner, you guys, ooh, this is good. I made a crispy chicken Caesar quinoa bowl, totally vegan, of course, and you guys know how much I love my soy curls, so that is how I make my crispy chicken. You guys can check out the full recipe that I actually just posted on my YouTube channel for some high-protein quinoa bowls. This is one of my new favorite dinners or lunches. It's really good, and I paired it up with some greens, some quinoa, and my homemade creamy tahini salad dressing. All the recipes for these I'll have linked below for you to check out and this is a very satisfying super delicious dinner that legit tastes like a caesar salad mm, yeah you guys gotta try it out okay so wednesday morning breakfast i made one of my favorite warm weather breakfasts we got a super high protein situation going on here we got some tofu scramble and this high protein lentil bread which i've been recipe testing this week with a little bit of avocado and chickpeas on top i've also got leftover potatoes yum and then yeah this is just so so delicious i make this a variation of this breakfast pretty much two or three times a week sometimes i'm feeling more sweet you know like the oatmeals that you guys see but if i'm feeling savory it's definitely gonna be something like this breakfast mm. it's also a very snowy situation right now in vancouver it's like a once a season type thing so that's exciting makes me feel extra grateful to be inside eating my warm breakfast anyway later today i'm going to be showing you this this tofu soup i have been recipe testing and it is so good and then for dinner i'm gonna do a a classic janelli dinner that you guys will get to see later so stick around 
Crispy tofu soup. I'm sorry, crispy tofu what? Yeah, I said it. Crispy tofu soup, you guys. I actually recently just posted this onto my channel in my high protein soups video. And these crispy tofu shreds have literally changed my life. They are so crunchy, so flipping good. They're like little high protein croutons that I pretty much put on everything now. Anyway, this soup is super easy to whip up. You just saute some aromatics, add some veggies, a uh, block and a half of shredded tofu, cook it down, and some spices like cumin, chipotle, and you have a delicious soup. This is 42 grams of protein, and this basically will give Brad and I a few lunches or dinners, and it's just so great for all the working out we've been doing and, you know, trying to build that muscle. So this soup is definitely going to be one of our new go-tos in the future. Hello, and welcome to my couch. So, friends, we talked earlier in the video about some of my fitness and health goals. So now I want to tell you more about my diet goals and kind of what those look like. So clearly you have seen some of my workouts and they are very, very high intensity and quite demanding. And it requires me to eat a lot more protein. And that's pretty much my main focus right now. And it's how I've been eating this month of January. I've been focusing on really high protein, plant-based and gluten-free, pretty high carb, but low calorie density. And you may have already seen that a lot of my recipe videos that I've been posting lately have pretty much been those kinds of meals. I've done bowls and soups and all sorts of breakfast recipes that are pretty high protein. That's kind of how I'm eating right now. And because I'm working out so much, I really want to make sure that I'm just eating healthier, eating clean and eating food that is going to fuel me. And I'm actually like just really happy with what I'm eating and all these healthy foods I'm eating. And while I still, you know, have a little indulgent treat every now and then, I still feel like there's so much room for creativity in how I can make even like my sweet treats a little bit healthier. And it's always getting me to think more about like, how can I add more high protein to my desserts and to my little treats? And I'm just, I'm in this like creative mindset right now when it comes to high protein eating. And I'm so jazzed because I'm just coming up with all sorts of recipes that you guys are going to see on the channel soon. So definitely make sure you are subscribed below because I want to be friends and I want to help you on your high protein vegan journey. We can get fit together. We can lose a few pounds together. We can get jacked. It's going to be great. So make sure you subscribe below. And then my next goal is to take this YouTube channel to the next level. But I'm gonna be telling you guys more about that in another What I Eat video coming up soon. It's gonna be my next one, probably sometime in the next week or so. So definitely keep yours, keep yours, keep your eyes peeled for that video coming up. And I'll tell you guys more about just the exciting direction that I have planned for See Me Vegan in 2024. So many fun things I have in my brain. So, anywho. I'll see you guys a little later on today. <sighs> Welcome to dinner day three. We've got ourselves a Niswa salad. I didn't film all the steps to making this, but it is on my channel, the full recipe for this. So if you're interested, you can check it out. It's kind of a very loose interpretation of a Niswa salad. It's more like a baked version, but it's really good. And it's packed with protein. We have a ton of crispy baked chickpeas. We've got some healthy carbs with the potatoes. We've got beets. We've got lots of roasted veggies. And oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This lemon dressing is like gonna literally rock your world. I used my preserved lemon puree that I did a, a short for on the channel, like down below. I'll link it for you. And it's so... Oh, it's, I turned it into a salad dressing and let's just say it's freaking epic. Mm. Oh my God, that's so good. Mm. 
If you guys wanna see what I eat for the rest of the week, Thursday, Friday, make sure you head over to my Instagram because that's where I'm gonna be posting shorts for what I eat in a day for all of my meals. So definitely follow me there, Steamy Vegan Kitchen. And then make sure you guys are subscribed below because I am gonna be capturing all the healthy meals that I'm making right now that are healthy, gluten-free, weight loss forward, high protein. And if that sounds good to you, you're definitely gonna to wanna to follow along. So hit that subscribe button, like this video, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!